Jay, go ahead. Can you hear me? No, we can't. Go ahead. Great stuff. Sorry about that. Um, Leota, you've had such a, a long and very successful career, so it's rare to really think of you doing something new, but a Grand Prix is something you haven't taken part in before in MMA, I don't believe. So what are your thoughts on the tournament and uh, what would winning it mean to you? I really like this opportunity because I believe that only the best uh, light heavyweight fighters will be present in this in this event, will be in this event. That's why for me, it's a great opportunity. And also I, I feel respectful. I feel like it's a great chance to show, to, to showcase all my, all my, my job, you know, like for me, it means a lot because after almost 20 years of long career, and that's a great moment for me. I always try to motivate myself and that's why I'm here. And, you know, Demetrius Johnson recently said that, you know, his, his favorite belt is the uh, tournament belt that he won in uh, one championship, really. Would winning the Grand Prix mean more to you than winning the belt in this tournament? Or does the belt still matter most? It's a different, it's a different things, you know, because when you have the Grand Prix, you have a different format. You have different uh, type of competition that you have to, you already know probably when and who you're gonna fight next. And that it, you cannot escape from that. Like, for example, if you go to another event, sometimes they put some, some, somebody in front of you, they can take your chance because they have more name in Grand Prix. No, you have just to obey the rules because there is a break that if you pass, you confirm to the next next fight. And for me, I like this this type of competition because in karate, in amateur sports, it's always like that. You have to just to follow all the winning and you're gonna be the next for sure. That's why for me, I like this this competition. Damon, go ahead. Leo, you as a former UFC light heavyweight champion, you obviously fought in that promotion and saw how that light heavyweight division was, and you saw the talent in there. When you look at the talent that is assembled in this Grand Prix, uh, how would you compare it in terms of you know how good the Bellator roster has gotten, especially at light heavyweight? So, I believe in light heavyweight right now, Bellator has a good, good group of fighters. So that's why they decide to do the Grand Prix. And UFC, of course, they have best fighters, uh, better fighters too, great fighters too. But uh, since we are here in Bellator, so I can believe that for me, the best fighters are here. And in line heavyweight right now, of course, you have a very good fighters in UFC as well. UFC is considered one of the biggest events. So it's, it's hard to compare. Everyone has their own entourage, your own group of fighters. So you have just respect to that. And who knows one day they can put one against the other. Leonardo, I know you've you've rarely addressed you know things like your retirement because you said I think you said a couple of years ago you said you still have three or four good years left and I'm not trying to retire you but if you were able to go out there and win this Grand Prix and become champion now considering the field of talent that's out there I mean do you feel like that would be a pretty incredible achievement towards the latter part of your career? Of course, of course, but uh, we cannot forget that. I always try to live the moment, you no. Know? I always try to think in the, the present moment. I cannot uh, foresee anything in the future. That's why I try to live every single minute of my life in this moment. As a human being, I just said here that you tend to go to the future, you tend to plan everything, or you tend to be stuck in the past. But the, the hard task is to keep yourself in the moment. In this moment, I just have this fight against Bader, and I have a, I have a long, long uh, path ahead of me. That's why I cannot say anything about retirement or about future. But I have everything in my mind. I have everything that I what I have to do until I want to do until uh, I believe that I still can do. Tony.
Leota, thank, thanks for your time this evening. <clears throat> um, my, my question is, how, having achieved so much in your career, how do you continue to stay motivated? So first of all, I like to challenge. I like to challenge myself. I like challenges. And since when I started my career, was about challenge myself. You know, when I was 70 years old, I was supposed to compete in the first MMA competition in my state in Brazil, but I they withdrew me because I was like under 18 years old. They consider, but for me that moment was like a challenge. You know, I was. Of course, everybody has a fear, everybody has like anxiety, stuff like that, but to challenge that is the most important thing. That's why I still have, com have been competing in my career because I like to challenge myself. I like to, to face different things. And for me, this Grand Prix is a new moment for me. And I try to, I like to go to the academy every day. If you still have that, I consider you still motivated to training and to achieve whatever you want to achieve. It has nothing to do with age or con uh, physical condition because physical condition, you can get there if you're training and the motivation is in your mind. If you have something you have to achieve, you can do that. But that's why I consider that I'm still motivated to do what I want to do. Thank you. Gavin, go ahead. Hello, I'm Gavin Austin with Behind the Grind. And Leoto, I just have one question for you. Um, you're coming off of two split decision losses to top competition here in Bellator. So I want to ask you how you view those two losses. Are you less confident because those two losses are just there on your record? Or perhaps you're gaining confidence because one of the judges for both those fights said you won. Does that make you feel like you can still come out victorious against top level fighters? I really don't think about the past, no. So, of course, right after my, my last fight and my fight against Musas, I was kind of upset right after the fight because as a professional competitor, you always to, you want, you want to perform the best way possible. But uh, even when I win some fight, I forget that because that, that winning, that's not going to give me any step ahead of my opponent just because I win, I won the fight. No, same thing with about the losses. So I just went back to my home, fix everything that I had to fix and, and see a new moment as a new competition for me, a new moment for me. Try to forget everything and work in my mind to do my best in every single moment uh, of the fight. Ronald. Thank you. This is Ronald E. Smith from Getting Real. Leoto, you you already straight up said that you don't think about the past or the future. You think about the present. And the present right now is Ryan Bader. So for yourself in this fight, what is it about this rematch with him that excites you for it? So I'm so excited, not just because it's a rematch, but because you know, I have a, a, a big task ahead of me. And I'm so excited. And I had a great camp. I had a great preparation for this moment. And of course, as a fighter, as a professional fighter, and all, uh, and, and, and as, our, as a, a competitor, you always have this, this thing within you, you know, this will to win. And that sometimes provokes some type of Anxiety. I said, of course, as a human being, I, I want to think in the future, but I keep my mind in the present. That's the, the hard thing for me. That's why I like to compete because the, the, the fight week is the moment that I have to concentrate more. I have to put all the, the knowledge that I have about mind in this present moment. Darnell. Hi, Leoto. Thank you so much for the time. Uh, last time during the Bellator press conference, you came out in a cut-off sleeve kimono. Will we be seeing more of this going forward in the future? If I use kimono, but what is the question? If I... Will we see more of that? Of course. Of course. That's, that's the way that I like to dress. Even with, with, with I'm at home, I use that and I cook to my family. 
when I use that kimono, I feel like I, I feel like my my Japanese side is so, you no, know, uh, can aflore much more, can can be out much more, and I like to use that because my father taught me how to to dress like that, and I have I brought my my gi. I always travel. And br I brought my gi. If I have some circumstances that I have to use, I'm gonna use for sure. That's awesome. And also, you've been spending some time with Glover Teixeira. What's the importance of training with somebody as Glover? So Glover Teixeira is, we are partnered for so long time. We are friends. And since when Glover was in Brazil, he was he, he was in the UFC. We already trained together in 2009. We started training together. And since then, we always see each other in training. I went to his academy sometimes in Glover. He joined us for this camp and was not, not only Glover, but Poatan, Alex Pereira, the, the glory champion, champion. They joined us too and others, others wrestlers. Bubba, Shuffle is a good guy, is a good wrestler. Julian from the Fusion Academy and Rodolfo Vieira, other guys, tough guys that was a part of the, the camp. Everybody helps in somehow and a little bit, a little bit, then we can put together and make a great camp. Santiago. Hello, Lioto. Thank you for the time. In 2019, you fought against Gegard Musasi, and this was a very close and competitive fight at middleweight. Now you are back at light heavyweight. Did you completely close the book on middleweight? No, yet. No, yet. I'm pretty open for that. But now I... I enjoy this moment in the light heavyweight because I believe the big dudes over there and, and it's a, a moment that I have to challenge myself like always. And for me to be uh, to be a part of this, this, this Grand Prix is a great thank you, but I'm pretty open to 185 as well. And the last one for me, Bellator is on Showtime now. You are headlining the second Bellator event on Showtime. Does this new broadcasting partner for Bellator excite you? And can you already see a difference? I, I, I could see some differences here in the backstage, but I have no comments about that because Showtime is a, a big, big, they have a big broadcast. And for me, Actually, as a fighter, I cannot think about the broadcast. You know what I mean? Like Showtime, I know. I knew Showtime for so long time. But for me, what matters now is just the fight. All right, we have time for one or two more here. Dylan? Hey there, Leoto. How's it going? Good. I just had a quick question just as a bit of an aside here, just because your brother there, Chinzo Machida, just with the past with Bellator as well, but been a little bit since he's competed is there any word from him in his in as far as competing in bellator again and as an extension of that would you be interested in maybe sharing a card with chinzo in the future or would that be more of a stressful dynamic than an enjoyable one i believe that's not gonna happen anymore because chinzo he's already retired he put his focus in another thing he, he's running the academy and also he's do our our associations and machida karate association chinzo he he shifts his focus right now you know, because as we know we cannot we, we cannot wear two foot two shoes in the same foot that's the the way the japanese like to say and shinzo now is out of the competition out of the mma uh, career he's completely focusing on other things fair enough thanks for the time leoto thank you so much all right and last question here comes from the line of sophia duran go ahead sophia uh, hey, Lyoto, how are you? How are you? Good, thank you. Lyoto, I have two questions for you, two quick ones. My first question is, uh, what has changed since the, the in, in you? Uh, because you have already faced uh, Ryan Bader almost 10 years ago. So what have changed you since that first fight? Man, so many things changed from since that moment because it's hard to... to, to to number this, to name this, because I've been changed a lot. If you said something about my last fight, I already changed since my last fight. That's why I imagine it like eight years ago, I have changed so much and 
it's hard to say something about that, but I can say that I always give my 